Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my massive Priceline haul. I actually filmed this video yesterday and it's a long video and I uploaded my footage and three quarters of it was completely out of focus. So I swear if that happens again, I'm not refilming this. So let's all just say a little prayer that all goes to plan. So first up, I have an eye cream from the brand Natural Instinct. I've actually been using this like for the past few days and I'm very impressed by it. It's thick and creamy and it's just what I want in an eye cream. So far I'm really really loving this. I got this cute little headband from Face Halo. I don't know if you can buy these but it's super cute and I love things like this. And also from Face Halo I got the new pro black version of their original Face Halo. So these ones are black in colour but the idea is that they remove heavier makeup so anyone who wears like dramatic makeup like me will find this useful because it's meant to help remove even more stuff from your face. Next up I've got something so exciting I can't wait to try this as like a pamper session. So it's from the brand Blackout Pore. I love the packaging like as soon as I saw the stand I was like need to see what's on that. So this pack has three separate pore strips that you do all in one session. So the first pore strip is supposed to cleanse the sebum and the pore and kind of open your pores. The second strip is what actually removes your blackheads. And then the third strip is to tighten your pores back up. So I find that amazing because I feel like when you do, I don't do pore strips hardly ever just because my skin's so dry and sensitive that I feel like it like rips the top layer of my dermis off. But I do find this interesting that there is like a tightening and kind of replenishing aspect to this. So I am going to try it out and see how we go. It's a Korean skincare brand and I've heard amazing things about Korean skincare so definitely excited about this one. I got these two Models Prefer Cream Foil Finish Eyeshadow Palettes. These are the two palettes here. This one is called Pink Luster. This one is called Gold Rush. I actually used Pink Luster. I used this color down here in my last video and I am so impressed by these. They don't crease, like it dries to a nice finish, but it still looks incredibly foiled. Yeah, I was incredibly impressed and the pigment and like the foiledness of these is next level it's so good these aren't out yet but they are coming soon so I would highly recommend them another makeup item I got is from Physicians Formula and it's their powder palette mineral glow pearls I used this again in that video that I posted last and it's very very pigmented and intense and beautiful so if you like a blinding highlight you will like this. I was very impressed by it. I got a moisturizer from this new brand that's coming to Priceline called Solal. Solal? I'm not too sure how you say it. I used this the other day and it's perfect for combination to oily skin types. It's like a really lightweight, grease-free, kind of gel consistency moisturizer. I love these types of moisturizers in the summer because my skin's a little bit more oily and combo. So in winter, this isn't really my cup of tea, but definitely for the warmer months. And I love the packaging of this. I think it's all very pretty, like the white and rose gold. And this brand does actually make supplements that you take orally and is supposed to like replenish your skin and that type of thing from the inside out. So I like the idea of this brand. I'm really excited for this product. It's from the brand Kristen S. And she's brought out products that look like the Whey brand in the drugstore. Like Whey, the brand they sell at Sephora, which is amazing. This, I feel like this is giving me that kind of vibe. So I got the Weightless Shine Leave-In Conditioner for all hair types and it's detangling, softening and strengthening moisture sealing and shine enhancing. I love the packaging of this. I just think it's like really simple but luxury looking and this massive bottle is only $19 so I feel like it's a pretty good price point. This product I'm so excited about. It is from the brand Electric Ink and it's a vibrancy serum for healed tattoos. So I don't know if you guys know this. I have four tattoos. Technically it looks like I only have three because I got a tattoo and I had to get it covered up because I went to a guy who 
just did the most god awful job of it. It was meant to be just a simple cross, but it was supposed to be like about a centimeter thick both ways. Oh my god. He went so deep into my skin in the outline that the ink actually ran out underneath my skin. I was left with the most botched tattoo. I cried when I left the tattoo parlor. I was just like, you idiot, Brie. I got it done when I was underage, I'm fairly sure. I was only 17. So I ended up getting that covered up. But I do have three tattoos and they are all pretty old now, like, I got my last one in about 2013, which is, God, like five years ago. So they're all pretty faded, and I love the look of dark black tattoos. Like, I want my tattoos to be vibrant. So this stuff is supposed to actually bring the ink pigment back to the surface, and apparently it kind of, like, scabs up like when you very first get your tattoo because it's a wound and it heals and it scabs. So apparently this is supposed to do that. I'm very like intrigued. So I can't wait to start trying this. I'm gonna definitely take a before and after and just see if it really works because it's very like innovative. I got a body wash from the brand Shea Moisture. It is black. I've never seen a black body wash before. It's the Af African Black Soap Soothing Body Wash with oats, aloe, and vitamin E. So this is supposed to help with like sensitive skin or dry skin, skin that just needs calming rather than intense soaps. And it smells pretty good as well. Yeah, it smells really good. It's got a hint of like, it's got the shea butter smell, but honey-ish kind of, I feel like. I'm always up to try a new body wash. I go through body wash like it's water, so I'm excited about this big bottle. This product I have used a few times since I got it and I'm in love. It's the Thursday Plantation Macadamia Ultra Hydrating Daily Body Oil. I am obsessed with body oils. My skin is like deathly dry. It's so dry, it's disgusting. So something like this, I feel like just hydrates my skin so much and I love it. This smells like pretty good. I love that it's got macadamia oil in it and it just sinks in quickly and well not sinks in like you do feel like you've got body oil on. It's not a dry oil by any means but it just feels like it takes two seconds to quickly rub it over your skin and you're done. So I have been obsessed with this so far. Some more products for my dry ass skin is the Jergens Oil Infused Body Moisturizers. These are huge and I love it. I love body moisturizer. I don't use it as much as I should, like for my skin, I should be using it twice a day. So this one's the Nourishing Honey and this one's the Hydrating Coconut. They do have just like a slight scent. They're not overpowering by any means, which I quite like. It just gives you enough of a smell to feel like you've got a nice scented moisturizer on. So I'm excited to try these out. I got a perfume from the brand Soli Notes. Solly Notes, I think this is how you say it. So they have a range of pure scents. So this one's vanilla. They have like geranium. I cannot remember any of the others. I literally only remember those two. <laughs> but they have a range of different kind of scents and they're designed to kind of mix together and create your own custom smell. But of course you can wear it alone and that's what I do with this one. I think it smells amazing. It just smells like rich vanilla and like, oh my god, so delicious. I love vanilla scented things, so I love this. And I just plan on wearing it on its own, but I feel like I could mix it with some of my perfumes that I already do have. But I do like the idea of being able to buy a couple and kind of make your own kind of scent. From the brand B Tan, I got the I Love Myself More Tanned Tanning Foam. That's actually what it's called. This is supposed to be like the absolute darkest, darkest fake tan. And I was going to go one lighter and just get a lighter, more safe shade. But I thought I may as well just pick up the darkest one and hope for the best. See how we go. I may come out looking like I won't want to go outside for a week until it comes off. But I'm interested to try it. It's a charcoal base and it's supposed to be like one of those deep, ashy kind of tans which I've never really tried so I'm nervous and excited to try this out and B Tan also gave us a tanning mitt which it has a thumb it has a thumb hole I love that 
So your hand's not going to be like, mmm. And I feel like with the thumb, you can get in like between your fingers, you can get behind your ears, like all the places where you don't really think to get or it's hard to get precisely. So I'm excited about this. I got this brush kit from Models Prefer, which Models Prefer brushes are actually incredibly good. I used to use them when I worked at Priceline, which I don't know if you guys know that. I worked at Priceline for two years and that's what like ignited my cosmetics and makeup love. So this is the classic brush collection, cute packaging. I've actually used a couple of the brushes. There's a foundation brush in there I've tried. I used this brush today, this little short like dense buffer to blend out my cream contour and it was amazing. I'm like in love with that brush. So yeah, you just get a range of different brushes in here and I think it's like the perfect kit for someone who just needs a bit of everything and doesn't want to spend a whole fortune on like Sigma. I love my Sigma brushes but they can be like a bit of an investment. So to start out, I feel like these brushes are fantastic. I got a couple of pairs of the Faux Mink Glam by Manicare Luxe Eyelashes. I'm actually wearing one of the pairs today and I'm obsessed. I'm so obsessed. So I have on the style 59 Harper. They're wispy and fluffy and they're longer on the outer corners so it gives you that elongated almond eye kind of look. And then these other ones are the 61 Coco Effect. These ones don't taper, they're just like an all-rounded, fluffy, thick volumizing looking lash but that's the quality of these is phenomenal i really am digging these lashes from astralis i got the girl boss demi matte lip cream which i used in my video previously and i can't use this color alone because it's way too pale for me but look at the packaging how pretty is this packaging? When I first saw it, I honestly thought it was a new brand called Girl Boss. I did not think this was Astralis just because it looked so luxe. So I got the shade Achieve, which is, it is a really pretty pale peachy pink. But for me, it's just way too pale. I ended up just using a normal lipstick, like a nude, and then put, putting a little bit in the center. I just feel like you need a darker base with this color for people with my skin tone anyway. I got a couple of products from Rimmel. So first up I have the Scandalize Wow Wings Mascara. Love the color of this packaging. It's like my favorite color, I love purple. And this wand is actually more like a rubber wand, whereas most of their mascaras are more bristly, especially in the Scandalize range. But I personally do like rubber ones and the shape of it looks like it's really gonna hug the eyelashes, so I am excited to try this out. And then the other product I got is an eyeshadow palette. There was a few different ones and I wanted to pick one that I wouldn't normally pick. So this is the one I decided on. This is called the Jewel Rocks Edition palette. I really like the color range in here. Like there are some beautiful colors. The only thing is there is only three matte eyeshadows and they're all they're not neutral. So one is like this mustard color, which I do love. The other is this emeraldy deep forest green. And then this one is more of a pinky peach. So the rest are shimmers. The shimmers do look beautiful, I have to say. I just feel like drugstore brands don't get that you need more matte eyeshadows. But I mean, I can pull from a different palette and then just focus more on the shimmer shades. Actually don't think I've ever tried any Rimmel eyeshadows so I have no idea what they're going to be like but I'll give them a go. The brand Barry M is coming to Priceline so from them I got a little glitter pot. Well it's actually not little like you get a lot of glitter in here. This is the Glitter Rush Body Glitter in Ultraviolet. It's like a purple with holographic reflex. I got a new razor from Chic. It is the Intuition Fab, and I also got some cartridges like refills. Um, I always love getting razors. I actually need needed a new razor, so I'm going to put this in the shower as soon as I finish this video. And this one, you can actually shave forwards and backwards. So it's supposed to, instead of just shaving up against the hairs, you're supposed to be able to go both ways. I've never done that before, but... I mean, it's interesting. Some more showery products. I got the Fudge Clean Blonde Damage Rewind Shampoo and Conditioner. I have used the Fudge 
purple clean blonde shampoo for many many years it's only recently I've switched over to Fenola but I mean I will still use this it's definitely still a good product and the damage rewind is actually supposed to be a little bit more nourishing and moisturizing so with the purple products as you guys know if you've got blonde hair they can be very drying so these are designed to give you the same clean blonde effect but without the drying out of your hair so I love that they've come out with this kind of thing then another hair product is the brand unwind it's the rose wine inspired color protection 10 in 1 leave-in spray so this actually smells like rose it actually smells really good I'm not a fan of rose scents but this doesn't smell like old lady rose. It's like a soft, light, pretty rose scent. So I used this the other day and I liked it. I mean, I don't know that you can tell straight off the bat if it's doing your hair any good. But I liked it. I like the scent of it. I like the packaging because it looks like a little champagne bottle. And yeah, this product's actually really interesting as well. It's from the brand The Base Collective. And it's their magnesium oil in a spray bottle. So I'm actually supposed to take magnesium supplements because of my pain condition. Um, but I just always forget to take them. I feel like when you already take so many like prescription meds, you just kind of push your vitamins to the side. But with this, like I get a really sore neck and shoulders majority of the time I have sore neck and shoulders. So you can just spray some spritzes of this and just massage it into the skin. Not leave you with like an intense smell. It's got no scent to it, which I love Tiger Balm and that type of thing. I just hate the smell it leaves me with. And it lingers and gets on your bed sheets and just stinks the whole place up. So I'm interested to try this. And the guy at the stand actually said that applying magnesium topically onto the affected areas it actually goes into your bloodstream a lot quicker and is more effective so I am really keen to try this I got a, mus a mascara I got a mascara from the brand L'Oreal it's their unlimited mascara it's super cute packaging it actually has a wand that bends so if you're someone who likes a bendy mascara wand you can bend it I tried to bend it but I just felt like I had no control over it but I used it with the wand straight and the mascara itself, the formula is phenomenal. It gave me thick, long looking eyelashes and I don't have very good eyelashes so I was highly impressed with this. I have a serum from Napoleon Purtis, which Napoleon is actually now at Priceline which is very exciting. It's more of a like high end brand. So this serum is the Complex Skin Renewal Caviar Serum. Normally, I don't go for products that have like animal extracts and like things like that. It's just not my cup of tea because I feel like there's plants that are amazing that you can put into skincare and it works just as good. But I mean, I was given this so I may as well use it. I used it the other day and I used it again this morning. And this is what the little bottle looks like. You don't get much, but you don't need much. Like literally three drops of this does my whole entire face. Um, and it sinks in really quickly. I don't know what else to say about it. I'm going to keep trialing it. And they're only $19 from Priceline, which I feel like is a pretty decent price for a more higher end brand. I was expecting it to be more like $39. So $19 is definitely... Not bad at all. I got some Ole Magni Masks Infusion. So these are sheet masks and these are the hydrating sheet masks for dryness and roughness. They did have another type which I think was more aimed towards blemish prone and like congested skin. Which I definitely could have used but I figured because my skin's been so dry I would pick the dry sheet masks. Haven't used any yet, but I am excited to try them out. I'm always up for trying new masks, so yeah. Another mask that I'm actually really excited for is from the brand Yes2. It's the Tomatoes, Yes2 Tomatoes Clear Skin Detoxifying Charcoal Snap Mask Stick. So this is like a charcoal mask in a stick form. Literally a stick. It smells amazing, like really good. 
and I just love the concept of this. It says it's only a five minute mask and I like the idea that you just swipe it on. The only thing I feel like you will definitely need to do is wipe over the mask after you apply it just to, for hygiene reasons like so you're not spreading bacteria and having bacteria set on this. So yeah, I feel like that's the only thing but it's not that hard to just give it a wipe over with a paper towel or something and it's 96% natural ingredients I do really love this brand I haven't used anything from them in a long time but what I have used I remember really liking super excited I got two thingies of the Batiste dry shampoo these are like the Christmas packs you get a free hairbrush in each pack look at the packaging of this one though like I'm obsessed so this one's the opulent, opulent and bold luxe scent. This one is delicate and sweet Eden. But I'm obsessed with Batiste dry shampoo. It's still my favorite dry shampoo of any that I've ever tried. So I'm like really happy to have more of these. I got an eyeshadow palette from the brand The Balm. The Balm is now coming to Priceline, which is very exciting. I feel like that's a really cool thing because the balm is like such an amazing brand I've loved it for a long time so the palette I got is called the balm appetite eyeshadow palette I used it in my makeup look that I posted last this is what the palette looks like you get nine shades in here three mattes at the top you get three kind of foiled shades they're not overly foiled but they're like a intense shimmer and these are like a satin sheeny kind of finish. The only colour I feel like is missing is like a deep warm brown. I do think it's a good palette and I did really enjoy the, how well the shadows blended and everything. So I definitely will keep using this. Another face mask I got is from the brand Sukin, which I love this brand. It's all natural and they make really really good skincare. So this is the Coffee and Coconut Exfoliating Mask. They actually brought out a pink clay mask as well but I chose this one just because it sounded interesting. I, I'm not like obsessed with the scent. I feel like coffee and coconut don't really go well together. The coffee is more to like exfoliate and I'm assuming the coconuts for like hydrating purposes but it still does sound really good and I'm excited to try it. I got a few NYX products which so far I'm loving all of them. So this is the pore filler which is kind of like a benefit professional dupe. This is just a mini by the way. Then I got the NYX Away We Glow Illuminating Powder. I have this on my cheeks today like as my blush slash glow. I kind of mixed these three top shades together and avoided this one. I didn't really love it at first because it has like kind of chunky glitters but I feel like that might have been an overspray on that peachy shade because now when I apply it the glitters don't really show up you just have really like glowy cheeks so I'm loving this and I got the control freak eyebrow gel it's just a clear eyebrow gel and then I got the NYX matte finish setting spray and I mentioned in my video that I hate the smell of this it smells like it just has a weird scent. I'm not a fan, but I like the mist on this. It's very even and fine, so I do like it, and I feel like this is going to be my handbag setting spray that I just carry around with me. Some more minis that I got are shampoo and conditioner. They're from the brand Frank Provost Paris. Cute packaging. I really like the packaging. So the red ones are Repair and Strength Keratin Miracle for damaged and brittle hair. And then the orange ones are Nutrition and Softness Oleo Supreme for very dry and sensitive hair. So yeah, they're cute and I like minis to take away with me wherever I go. I got a new Tolerane Ultra moisturizer from La Roche-Posay, which this is one of my favorite moisturizers ever because it's perfect for any skin type. Sensitive skin won't react to it. There's nothing in there that like affects skin it, and it just gives you such good moisture. And the Tolerane Ultra is the more creamier, heavier version, which 
I love. So I'm, I'm obsessed with this moisturizer. Another macadamia product from Thursday Plantation is the Macadamia Ultra Hydrating Lip Balm. It's in a little squeezy tube and I have tried this a few times and I really like it. It's very like thick and oily and moisturizing, which is just what I like on my lips. This product is super cool. I've been testing it on my boyfriend actually because he does get some breakouts on his cheeks and that type of thing. And I am a big pimple popper. So I've been trying to use this on him to see if it like helps. It's the Neutrogena Visibly Clear Light Therapy Spot Treatment. It's a little pen, it looks like this. You just pop a battery in and all you do is you hold down that button. So it contains blue and red lights in it and it says the energy from red and blue lights gently filters through the skin and has been scientifically proven to target acne causing bacteria, reducing the appearance of spots. Blue light targets acne causing bacteria while red light penetrates deeper to reduce inflammation. So you're meant to do it, it's, you pop it on and it automatically turns off after two minutes. And you're supposed to do it three times a day, which is kind of excessive. I mean, twice a day is, like, good, but I like the idea of it. I think it's very clever. These look amazing. So they're from the brand Vice Reversa. These are micro-needling pimple patches, aka blemish blasters, aka zit, zit zappers. So they have salicylic acid, totorol, and green tea extract. I don't know why I'm flicking my fingers, that's weird. ADHD, huh. So these are actually just like tiny little patches that you apply to pimples and the needles penetrate your skin. They're like micro fine needles. They penetrate the skin and then release the ingredients into the skin. And like, how cool is that? I find this so amazing and I like what they write on here they wrote because the gods gave you good looks and a sparkling personality but balanced it out with the occasional pimple outbreak. I got a clay mask from the brand Generation Clay. How pretty, you guys know I'm obsessed with purple so this packaging spoke to me. It's actually a purple clay mask. It purify, illuminate, refine and brighten all the things we want. So the actual mask itself is purple and it does have like an a luminosity to it. I feel like that's whatever the brightening and luminizing ingredients are that are in it. This is a mask that I used last night and I really like it. I feel like my skin today, I mean it obviously looks glowy because I have a ridiculous amount of highlighter on, but I feel like it helped plump, it helped plump my skin and just make it look supple. I feel like. It's the Trilogy Age Proof Overnight Mask. So it says it firm and deeply hydrate with Glyca Blend, L22 and Vitamin C. You get a little spatula in here too to apply it so you're not dipping your fingers in and the packaging is like pretty nice. So yeah, I just applied like a generous amount, massaged it all over my face and it doesn't sink all the way in it just feels like you've got something on your face but you know it's working and it's doing its job this product is very exciting it is the quick flick so I'm sure you guys have seen this around like everywhere it's the winged eyeliner stamps so you get two pens in here one for your right eye one for your left eye and, and you stamp the wing on and then you get on the other end a little pen eyeliner that you just join your wing up I tried this in my video and I fucked up big time it was such a fail I aimed the wings way too like ver vertically they just they weren't good I needed to aim them more outwards so I'm gonna keep practicing because I know it gives amazing results I just need to learn how the hell to put it on I got a few products from Essence so we got a mascara and this mascara actually has a tinting effect to it so the more you wear it the more it actually tints your natural eyelashes which is a really cool concept so it's called the I need a miracle mascara got a melted chrome liquid lipstick in this like pinky peachy champagne color and then lastly from them I got a foundation so this is the hashtag insta perfect liquid makeup it says it's strong matte effect waterproof and buildable coverage 
So it's a little dropper bottle. It didn't look like super full coverage when I swatched it, but it could be built up. I don't know. Okay, so I got three products from Mine Tan. I got a tanning mitt, which is purple, and I love. I love. And then I got a clear base color create foam. Very nervous about this because I like to have a guide show me where I'm putting my product so I don't like miss a whole big streak on my arm or something. So it says it's a one hour express tan. It says it's a clear streak free self tan for all skin types and tones. And I also got these drops. So these are the Mind Tan Color Create Violet Color Base Drops. And they say to mix to create and customize your own tans. This is a whole new thing to me. I don't know really how they work. I will have to look up like YouTube tutorials and like how to use these because I just don't know. But I'm assuming like I would pump this onto my mitt, add a drop or two or however much of the violet. They have different shades, but I got violet. It's like dark purple. I don't know how that will look on the skin. I have no idea, but I assume that's what you do. This product is so cool and I'm so excited to try it. It's from the brand Etique, I think is how you pronounce it. This is what the packaging looks like. So this is the Pinkalicious Shampoo Bar for Normal Hair. So this brand is like no waste. There's no plastic packaging on anything. There's no, just no waste at all. This smells so damn good. Oh my gosh. Pinkalicious smells delightfully like pink grapefruit and vanilla. It's the perfect addition to your beauty bar collection. As usual, Samoan coconut and cocoa butter make an appearance along with a host of other divine ingredients. So literally, it's a bar you rub on your head and it apparently does lather. I did question that because I find a lot of natural hair products don't lather, don't feel like you're actually cleaning your scalp. But apparently this does and I've never tried a shampoo bar before. But I'm very intrigued to try it. Another hair product I got, which looks like a weird sex toy, the packaging. So it's called the Bedhead by TG, or Tiggy, I'm not sure how you say that. It's the After Party Smoothing Cream for Silky Shiny Healthy Looking Hair. So it's like a little pump, it's a cream, and you can use it in towel dried hair, you can use it in dry hair. I did ask about it, apparently you can use it to get rid of flyaways and I asked the lady does it make your hair look oily though because you can use things like at the roots for flyaways and it can make you look like an oil slick and apparently this doesn't and this also smells divine, like really really good. I really like the scent. Another tanning product, this is my like second last product I think, is the Saint Tropez Self Tan in Extra Dark. How cute is the colouring of this packaging? Like it's so beautiful, the greens and the blues and everything, I love it. If you guys have been following me for a very long time, you know Saint Tropez used to be my ride or die. I used to wear the dark Saint Tropez all the time. It wasn't like in intensely dark, it didn't give me like a crazy deep tan, it just gave me a natural deep-ish looking tan. But now that they've brought out the extra dark, I'm so excited to try this. I remember this being like not sticky at all when you apply it and I remember it, you know, after a week or so, it would exfoliate off your skin so easily. You didn't have to like scrub and scrub with something exfoliating. Okay, last things are some lashes from Ardell. I picked up the Foam Ink Wispies in the style Demi Wispies. I actually have had these. I had to throw them out because they were just, I'd used them too many times and they were getting old. I love the style of these. They're absolutely beautiful. And then the Magnetic Lashes. If you watched my last video, you know I had so much trouble getting these on and even when I got them on they weren't on properly I found these incredibly difficult to work with I think it took me about 30 to 40 minutes to get them on my fucking eyes and they still weren't on properly I was so excited I thought these are gonna be so easy I can use them like way more often it's so much easier than gluing but no no I don't know what I'm doing wrong I don't know if it just takes practice I don't know if I can put myself through trying to make these work. 
And that is everything for this haul. Oh, I got through it. My mouth is dry. Second time around, I'm pretty sure I was in focus the whole time. So let's just hope. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And like the video if you did like it. And I don't think I have anything else to say. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Do you guys ever get hot but like your like your body's hot but your feet are cold? It's weird. Bizarre. It's called I don't know what I'm saying. Like ma like ma.